Hello and welcome. My name is Aichan Bot. I'm a dedicated Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links streamer as you can see here. And since we've got our 21st Queen of Games, we are all obviously not only having a PhD in Duel Links, but also a master's degree in being fierce. And today I'm here to show you the recent decks I've been playing with. And one of them is my favorite, not only for the ladder, but also for the funds. And that one is Red Eye Slash Dragon with Amazons. Hmm. You understand it correctly. The special spice is here, not only the Amazon is on the board, but also here behind the keyboard. And now let's get into it and enjoy. So as you can see here, the Red Eye Slash Dragon is of course the key core card of this wonderful deck. You need a warrior monster and a red eyes dragon to fusion summon this card. And this card is especially busted because when you have summoned it to the field and you go into attack position, you can always attach one warrior monster from your graveyard to it. And then it's getting, after that it's attached, it's getting immune to spells or traps, which is described here below. So before the card is vulnerable, but after that you can negate any spells or traps your opponent has. And that is super busted. Now to the next core card of this deck, Amazonas Princess. They are limited to two in between now. I'm so sorry guys, but that's how the game goes. They come and go, bandless go in and out. That's how the world runs right now. So every time you pull Amazonas Princess and summon it normal face up into attack position on the board, you get to pull an Amazonas card, trap card, which is usually the onslaught, right? Onslaught also limited now to one. Just imagine how busted that was in the past when we actually had more than one of them allowed in the game. So not to forget for the other Amazonas cards on the board, we have the Queen, which makes your Amazonas, if the Queen is summoned to the board, all the other Amazonas cards on the board gets indestructible. By battle, don't forget. So, a treacherous or any cards effects which destroys the queen makes your um, Amazons a vulnerable again, but before they are indestructible, which is awesome, especially when you have a swordswoman on the board. And you just go kamikaze with the swordswoman into your enemy, and they just take a lot of damage. And your card can die. That's awesome. That's much, much awesome. I like it. I like that deck very much not a stall it's not a typical burn deck but it's a hybrid and now coming to the dragon so you have one red ice arc feet dragon of lightning it's really busted i will explain later why and then you have your red ice b dragons for the fusion summon so without those red ice b dragons you cannot fusion summon slash dragon which is the core card of this deck that's why you need two of them and not to forget, you also need Red Eyes Retro Dragon. Some run three of them, some run two. I run two. I think two is enough. It's pretty strong with 1700 attack into attack position, so you can get over other smaller monsters. But the really busted effect is here. Every time a Red Eyes Slash Dragon, a Red Eyes monster on the field gets destroyed, it could be a Slash Dragon, it could be a normal Red Eyes, it could be this guy here. And that card is on your hand. You can special summon it into defense position and get your other red eyes dragon card out of your graveyard. That is super busted. It's even better than Skullmeister. For myself, I run um, two spirits and two insights. Some people run three insights. Some people don't really run uh, many of the spirits. Instead, they use more uh, return of the red eyes. I personally prefer spirits because sometimes you just don't have the possibility to special summon the red eyes from your graveyard for whatever reason and the spirit is just basically a backup if the slash dragon or the red eyes or the red eyes arcane gets destroyed and into the graveyard you still have a chance to get them out there somehow and the red eyes returns i run one copy of it i think it's good because you have always a chance to get some kind of red eyes monster on your field and then you can use the re return of the red eyes trap to summon the second one from your graveyard and also if the red uh, return of red eyes gets destroyed you get one card back which is also helpful so it's not minus one but it's like zero it's not minus or plus one but it's more like zero yeah 
I also run one galaxy cyclone for safety because sometimes there are just those decks which are dependent on a face up field spell or some kind of super ugly back row spells and this card basically can end game if you're lucky. And in that combination, never forget the red eyes fusion summon because without the fusion summon you definitely need three of them just like the slash dragon to make this deck work perfectly then you are fine so three red eyes fusions three red dragons and the rest you can mix up to what you have and how you want it so with no further ado oh never forget i use beat down i have seen people using other skills with it i saw a balanced version of it from timmy uh, i saw other people who use like uh, last gamble or even what what was the name um the skill by bandit keith where you can exchange one cat a switcheroo i uh, forgot the name yeah it works perfectly fine so the twist here is if people have a deck which counters your amazonas they mostly don't have a deck which counters your red eyes or your red eyes slash dragon and the combination makes a sword and the special spice is actually the red eyes arc fiend uh, dragon most people don't know it yet but when this card is like face up already on your field for example special summon by red eye spirit or somehow special summon by the effect of the red eyes retro dragon you can normal summon it again and then you can use it effect to destroy all face up monsters on the board so basically you can clear the board with it and that is incredibly busted i have already done that once i can show you in the gameplays later and i think these are the most important things you need to know about that deck if you have any other questions concerning gameplay or deck construction for the red eyes slash dragon combined with amazon post it below into the comments and if you like to see more of pink haired upgraded i chan also post it below into the comments and we will see what we can do for next time if you want the black haired i chan back also contact us I hope you enjoyed the show and I will see you next time. Bye bye! Thank you